Welcome to the plus add-on tutorials. Today we gonna demonstrate Gravity Forms. Gravity Form is a plugin in WordPress to create amazing forms. To get the Gravity Forms, you need to go to the www.gravityforms.com and from there you need to purchase. You can check it out its pricing and you just need to buy it. This form is not available on wordpress.org or any other free sources. So you need to purchase its premium version. So we are assuming you already have the plan for this or you will buy that and set up this plugin in your wordpress setup. Once you set up this plugin in the backend you need to create forms. You can create forms from the forms tab. We already have created few forms which you can download from our demo link. This is available here. You also can download the JSON file which is with the styling. So we are assuming again that you have both the forms, both the forms or your custom form is created. Once you create the form, you just need to use the gravity form widget from the plus add-ons. You need to drag it, drag and drop, and you will have options of all the forms you have created. So in our case, we have created two forms, all fields and contact form. So both the options are available over here. After that, you have option for the title. You can turn it on or turn it off. In the style tab, please ignore these dots as it will not visible in the front end that is visible only in the back end. Now in the style tab, form heading and description options. That means if you have the title on, these options will work for the form heading and the description. We have options for the typography and its color. You can adjust that from these options. And keep in mind if you want heading and descriptions, you have to put that while creation of the form in Gravity Forms. After that, you have option for the label in which you can adjust your typography, your label color, your description color, max character color. Those are the notices which you can adjust and customize using this label styling. Then you can adjust your required symbol color. You can adjust the color of progress bar which you need to turn on while creation of the form. You also can adjust of the price. You can adjust the value of price. You can see over here. You can adjust that from this option. Now let's go to the input field styling. In the input field styling, you can adjust the typography, placeholder color. You can see the color change over here. You will have option for the inner padding, margin. And for the normal and focus state, you will have options for the text color, background option, background color, background styling border related options, box shadow related options, all these options for the normal and the for the focus state. You can adjust those using this tabbing functionality. After that, you have options for the text area field styling. In that, you can adjust padding, margin, typography, placeholder color and for the normal and focus state, text related options, text color, background color, background image, background gradient, border related options, box shadow options. Those are available for the normal and for the focus state. You can adjust from this tabbing layout. After that, you have options to customize your checkboxes and radio fields. For the checkboxes, you have options for text size, which you can adjust from here. 
then you have the text color option you can adjust the icon size which is not available in the backend but you can adjust the icon size from here and you can view that in a front end then you will have options for the unchecked and checked options background and icons color then you have options for the box border you can turn it on or turn it off using this option after that you have option for the file upload field you can see the field over here and all the options related to these fields are available like padding margin it's a typography of text then text color background color border related options and box shadow related options all those options are available for the normal and for the hover state so you can adjust for both the states then you have option to enable multiple file upload if you enable this option then there are such options to make multiple file upload keep in mind you need to turn it on in the backend while creation of the form in the gravity forms to use multi file upload style after that there is options for the submit next and previous button as you know gravity forms have a next and previous functionality so that you can create multi step forms easily so we have put option for the those button as well so you can adjust their width their typography of text in the button area its inner padding margin and for the normal and hover state you can adjust its text color background color border related options and box shadow related options again those are the options for the normal and for the hover state you can select that individually like this using this tabbing after that you can adjust your outer field by margin padding the background border and box shadow the background border and box shadow are available in more than normal and hover condition these are more options for the outer field then you can adjust the forms container this is the whole container of form by its padding its margin and in normal and hover state you can adjust background border and box shadow options all those options are available with sub options such as in a box shadow you can adjust the horizontal value vertical value blur spread and its position so this kind of options for the responsive and for the normal and hover state after that you will have options for the response message response message is someone when submit a form they have two kind of messages whether it's a success or it's a validation error so for both the error messages you have styling options like margin padding typography text color background colors and border related options for the success and the for the validation error section after that in the extra options you have option for the maximum width you can adjust the maximum width based on the pixel or based on the percentage then you have options for on scroll view animation we have made separate video for this functionality you can check it out in our channel in the advanced field you have plus extras we have made separate video for this plus extras in our channel you can check it out so these are the options for the gravity forms in the plus addons thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites see you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you